I want to give you a demonstration. You might be saying, Brother Tanner, that ain't me. So I tried to figure out a way that I could demonstrate that you can hear something. It be sure enough true. And your mind say, oh no, I know that ain't true. I know that ain't true. Man, this take a lot for me to do this because can you imagine knowing you're going to die? Telling your people that are for you that when I teach this stuff, they're going to kill me. Mm -hmm. okay. So, teach it. let me show you something. Just ponder. Don't accept. Just, just think. Because what I'm about to give you ain't something I'm making up. Okay. What if I were to tell you What if I were to tell you, we got a lot of the document that we need. We got it. But what if I were to tell you there's parts of it that we know, we have, they're true, they used to be there, and somebody decided See, right there, right there, your mind, you either, you either recognize it or you did. Uh-uh, uh-uh, he, he, he off now because he talking about a book of the Bible that we ain't got. That's false doctrine. Get for me, Jew. Y'all listen. Take my time right here. I gotta take my time right here. I need you to listen good. I need you to think and ask yourself, did he make this up or did I read this? Because he just said in demonstration that my mind will go into a mode where I'm ready to reject what's being said before I even hear what God has to say about it. Notice what I just said. When God, how many of y'all, listen, before I read it, let me ask this. How many of y'all believe that the book of Jude is an inspired book and word of God? How many of y'all believe it's right? How many of y'all believe that? I'm glad you do. Because I'm about to show you something. God said that Taylor didn't make up. Verse number 14, Jude only got one chapter. No chapters, basically. <laughs> Verse number 14, Bob say what? And Enoch also. See, stop right there. Some of us don't even know who Enoch is. But Jude know, and God know, he's the seventh son from Adam. Movies even tell us stuff. When you hear phrases, you don't know what you're listening to because you don't know this. You don't know when you watch the movie Seventh Son that it has to do with this type of thing. But he said what? And Enoch read. Also the seventh from Adam. The seventh from Adam read. Prophesied of these. Prophesied of these. Read. Saying. saying Behold the Lord cometh. Behold the Lord cometh. With ten thousand. With of ten thousand of his saints. Read. To execute judgment to upon execute all. To execute judgment upon all. Read. And to convince all. Convince all. Read. That are ungodly among them. That are ungodly among them. Read. Of all their ungodly of deeds. all their ungodly deeds. Read. Which they have uh, ungodly committed. Which they have ungodly committed. Read. And of all their hard speech, speeches. And all their hard speeches. Read. Which ungodly sinners which have spoken ungodly against them. sinners have spoken against them. Watch this. Now she give you. How many of us believe where God is where God is right, it's accurate, what it says, it says, 
in this tree. Now watch this. I need to tell you that that book was never lost. It'd be different if we say, well, it's, it's just one we don't have. And there are some we just don't have. Yeah, right. That's true. Right. But not this one. And then some immediately jump to the understanding of Paul quoting secular philosophers. But that ain't what this said. An inspired writer said he prophesied. And to prophesy means you are what? Under divine influence. Therefore, giving credence to what Jude is saying as the word of who? Let's get historical before we close. Y'all ever heard of Dead Sea Scrolls? Mm -hmm. And so when we go into validation and trying to prove scripture historically and uh, right, not outside of your theology, I ain't talking about what you believe, I'm just talking about some, some facts. Go to the Dead Sea Scrolls. But you probably didn't hear because maybe you're not interested in this research, but when we dig them up and we find a bunch of books that we have, Guess what book was sitting right there with the rest of them books? Enoch. Oh, okay, okay, watch this. If you go to Ethiopia, open their Bible, you might ask them, what that book doing? We ain't got that in America. They might look at you funny and say, we always had it. Because it's true. They always had it. Now, as I close, do you see what I just did? I probably guarantee almost 99% of it ain't never heard what who, who gonna sit up here in the church of Christ and tell us that it's a book out there we who who gonna do that? I ain't got to do it because Jews, Jews, it's in the Bible, I didn't make that up. Did y'all read that? What did Jesus do? Did he make up something? No, he didn't make up nothing. He just pointed out yes, sir. what it said. And when he pointed out what it said, I just wonder what they do to the prophets. Hmm. I ain't even got to quote the Bible. No. I'll quote Mr. Marley. How long yeah. shall they kill our prophets yeah. while we stand around and look how long are we going to be dull of hearing and not get into this same book that we say holds the secret and everything to life and godliness, but we don't know it? How long will we just stand by and look at it blindly, let people think for us, and then decide how we feel about their thinking? And then when we take on their thinking, anybody that's coming with the truth cannot even be received. As a matter of fact, when they come with that truth, you believe in your, watch this, religare. Why keep saying that? Because we don't understand the word religion. And we don't understand where it came from. There's such thing as religion that's pure. James talked about that. But the moment I insert my tradition into your way of thinking, your religion can only go as far as the model I gave you. Religare is a Latin word from which we get our word religion. Y'all know what it means? To bind up so it will go no further. There's a such thing as a traditional Church of Christ religion. The problem is that ain't what the Bible says. There's a such thing as religions within the religion. But I didn't come here to give you that. It's not why I was even born. I know I was sent to give sight to the blind, to give hearing to those that are deaf. And maybe, just maybe, I will lose it all in a figurative death. But just know like Ezekiel said, then will they know that a prophet was among them.
y'all got to take this book and learn it and study it for yourself. Because you will be surprised when you read about the book of Jasher that we got. The book of Enoch I just went over. And the other ones that they took out. Now what did that just do to you? What does that do to you? Maybe it just did what it did to the Pharisees and the scribes when Jesus said, you know what? Y'all got a tradition that's transgressing the law of God. So do you want to stone Brother Taylor? Do you want to cast me out? Maybe just get on Facebook and talk that mess. If you do that, I'm going to come see you because when I see it, I'm going to comment. <laughs> because Jesus didn't shy away and neither will a real teacher among you shy away because truth is my only religion true if God be true and he is yes. let everybody else be alone so if I stand on truth I'm good I don't need your tradition. If you here today and you tired of false teaching, <laughs> traditional teaching, teaching that 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 they ain't even got, you can't even find it nowhere. <laughs> just people telling you how they feel, think, want it, or just simply saying, "Well, that's the way it's always been." Well, maybe the way it's always been ain't how it was supposed to be from the beginning. Because if we go on how it's always been, don't mean that's how it was supposed to be from the beginning. Because I can just take you back to Genesis and show you it wasn't supposed to be like that from the beginning. But that's you right. made it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So I'm taking y'all back to the beginning. And I'm taking this group folk back. If you want to give your life over today and come by hearing what? The word of God, truth. You have to change. See, even to repent, you have to accept the teaching and evaluate it. To even repent, right here, to change your mind. And when you change your mind, only then can you confess a thing. If you never change your mind, you ain't going to confess it. Why? Because you don't believe it. And even if you say it with your mouth, it's about your heart. And when your heart is harder and your heart has waxed hard, you may be in a framework where you can't even receive truth. But if it's pierced through, if truth has gotten through to you today, and you are ready to repent of your sins and confess Christ, we'll baptize you for the remission of your sins. You will be raised to a new life with a new heart. And nobody can hold anything against you. Well, Brother Taylor, what you gonna do? I'm gonna keep walking this truth whether it kill me or not. That's just what I'm gonna do. You know why? Because when I say stay woke, I mean it. When I say stay woke, I mean get that truth in everything. And the moment you allow yourself to be in prison, you have been lullabied back to sleep. Stay woke, people of God, as we stand and sing this invitation song.